Welcome to Top 20 Web Developer Interview Questions and Answers. This video will help you prepare for the interviews and provide confidence boosts that will help you get this awesome job. Keep in mind that it's really hard to guess exactly which questions will be asked during an interview. However, we will cover some of the most important aspects of HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and DevTools. Not only are these questions likely to come up during an interview, a selection of questions will prepare you for what-if scenarios based off code given. This video is brought to you by contribution from CosmicNovo.com. Link to written version of top 20 web developer interview questions and answers is provided in video description box below. This video and its information is copyright by Cosmic Novo LLC and youtube.com forward slash Kobuman channel. Question number one. What is the importance of doc type in HTML? Doc type tells the browser which version of HTML XHTML standard is used and how to render the page. Question number two. What is the difference between display none and visibility hidden? Display none removes the element from the flow, allowing other elements to fill in. Visibility hidden only hides the element but space is allocated for it on the page. Question number three. Considering the code, what font size will have the text inside the P element? The answer is 8 pixels, because EM units represent percentage of its parent. In this case, it is a half of 16 pixels. Question number 4. What is the difference between session storage and local storage? Session storage is available only when a browser's tab is opened. Local storage survives on closing and reopening a browser. Question number five. What are data attributes? Data attributes are used to store custom data directly inside HTML tags. They are easily accessible from CSS and JavaScript. Question number six. Explain the difference between normalize CSS and reset CSS. Resetting removes all the native styles provided by browsers. Normalizing is just a correction of some common bugs. For example, SUP and SUB elements will work as usual after normalizing. Resetting would make them look like plain text. Question number seven. What are sprites? What is their purpose? CSS sprite is merging multiple images into a single image. It reduces the amount of web requests and increases page speed. Question number eight. What is SVG? SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphics. It is used to show vector graphics on the page. The biggest benefit is that SVG images don't lose quality when zoomed or resized, unlike JPEGs. You can easily change the size, 
color and animate SVG images. SVGs also can be bundled in SVG Sprite. Question number nine. What are the new features of HTML5 standard? HTML5 added new semantic elements, such as nav, article, section, header, footer, and the side. Also, HTML5 standard added new form controls, such are calendar, date, time, email, URL, and search. In addition, better support for embedded media using audio, video, and canvas. And while we take a short break, I just wanted to mention a few things that are available on my channel and CosmicNova.com website. We have videos and articles on various different topics, including desktop support, network administration, Microsoft system administration, help desk, customer service, and many more tutorials at youtube.com forward slash Kobuman channel. If you're interested in further expanding your knowledge, I have provided a link to some learning material from Amazon Affiliate in the description box below. Question number 10. What is a CSS preprocessor? CSS preprocessor is a tool which allows you to create CSS code much faster in a more structured manner. Preprocessors extend the CSS functional by adding variables, mixins, partials, also allowed to use operation inside the code. Question number 11. What is microdata? Microdata is a set of additional HTML tags for specifying the additional semantic information to help the search engines read your site properly. Question number 12. What tags are used to make a table? Table tag is used for wrapping a table. TH tag represents of the table heading. TR tag creates a table row that stores the data elements. The TD tag represents column in a row. Question number 13. What is the CSS box model? Box model represents a structured way to space elements in relationship to each other. It is made of margins, borders, padding, and content. When the page is being rendered, the browser shows each of the elements as rectangular, which can be styled using CSS. Question number 14. Consider this code. What color will the text have? The answer is blue, because exclamation mark important overrides every other selectors, including inline added into a tag. Question number 15. What is the reason for wrapping the entire content of JavaScript source file into a function? This is one of the best practices which creates a private namespace and thereby helps avoid potential name conflicts between different JavaScript functions and external libraries. Question number 16. How would you inspect a hover state of an element in the DevTools? To open it, click the small colon HOV text in the top right corner of the styles pane as pictured here. Question number 17. How would you edit HTML in the DevTools? 
right click on the text you want to edit on the HTML pane. Choose Edit as HTML, make your changes, and press Enter. Question number 18. What is the difference between in quotes double equals and in quotes triple equals operators in JavaScript? The in quotes triple equals operator behaves identically to the equality of in, in quotes double equals operator, but more strictly. The types must be the same to be considered equal. Question number 19. What kind of loops are in JavaScript? Loop 4 goes through inner code a number of times. For forward slash in used for looping through the properties of an object. While goes through an inner code while a specified condition is true. Do forward slash while also goes through a block of code while a specified condition is true. Question number 20. What would be a result of this code? The result is a string in a console. My pet's name is Roomba. Even though the function was called its declaration, the code works because of hoisting. Ladies and gentlemen, we have some bonus questions. Question number 21. What would be the output of this code? Explain your answer. The answer is global scope equals 1, scope A equals 2, scope B equals undefined, global scope after launching function equals 1. In the first log line, x is obviously 1 because it was assigned 1 globally at the line var x equals 1. In the second line is x is 2 because it's reassigned inside the function A. Inside the function b, x is undefined because it was declared but without any value. At the fourth line, the x is still 1 because a local function scope doesn't change the global scope. Question number 22. What would this code show in the console? This code shows uncaught syntax error, unexpected identifier. We have two assignments in the IIFE, B equals five and var A equals B. A is a local variable because it is declared using var. B is declared without var and should have been visible from a global scope. But we are using the strict mode, therefore B doesn't need to be assigned to the global scope. Before going to an interview, please take time to learn about the company that you're applying with in order to be 100% ready for any questions that may come your way. All of the questions and answers listed are contributed by a professional front-end developer. However, keep in mind that it is incredibly hard to predict exactly which questions will be asked during an interview. If you wish to collectively assist, you can contribute by providing feedback of your interviewing experience and the web development expertise by commenting below. For technology and science news, please visit CosmicNovo.com.